prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments. We have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, 
is on your side. We are shamefaced. Even to this day, we, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. But yours, O Lord, our God, our compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord our God, to live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal us do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoner sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people, and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever through all generations we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. Salita mo, Cristo mahal, Espiritu buhay, nagtuturot, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will, in return, be measured out to you. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Meron pong isang pelikula na ang title ay The Shock. This is a story of a man who journeyed on his way to forgiveness because his daughter was murdered no, by a madman. So along the story, no, in his journey towards forgiveness, maraming nahukay na mga hurts and pains din siya. And also his pains of actually killing his father. No? He killed his father when he was young. No? He poisoned his father no? when he was younger because his father used to beat his mother 
at kahit siya sinasaktan ng kanyang tatay. Sinasaktan siya ng kanyang tatay. No? So, parang to retaliate at para mag-stop na yung, yung sakit na nararamdaman ng nanay niya no? at ng kanya ding ano, physical pain. No? Since manginginom ang tatay niya, nilagyan niya ng poison yung ram ng kanyang tatay. And so, when he was um, on his journey towards forgiveness, no? God appeared to him, no? and the Father appeared to him, which surprisingly, when I was watching it, in the image of a mother. No? Yung God the Father nag sa kanya ng bilang nanay dahil mahirap para sa kanya i-reconcile ang Diyos bilang ama. Dahil pangit ang kanyang history, ang kanyang karanasan mismo sa kanyang ama. In our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are told that be merciful as your father is also merciful. Truth be told, eto po ay medyo mahirap maunawaan sa isang taong walang magandang alaala patungkol sa kanilang tatay na nagmamahal sa kanila. Walang magandang alaala patungkol sa tatay na minamahal sila bilang anak no? at maawain para sa kanila. Kaya ang struggle natin bilang mga tagasunod ni Kristo ay nakabase din sa ating human experience. But then Jesus would continually tell us, no, be merciful, be merciful. Stop judging, stop judging. Because truly, our God is not actually judging us. Never judge us. What He does is He simply loves us. What He does is He simply wants to attract us. Sinusuyo lang tayo ng sinusuyo ng Diyos para magpunta sa Kanya. Pero since marami tayong mga iba pang experiences, eto ay nadidistort. Kaya ang imahe natin ng Diyos, no? our ideal of God, is somehow conditioned to the very human experiences no? that we have. That is why in this Lenten journey, my dear brothers and sisters, we are invited to really reflect, no? Sino ba ang Diyos para sa atin? Ano ba ang Diyos para sa atin? And Jesus reminds us that our God is merciful, the word that our God does not judge, that our God does not relish mga sama ng loob. No? Actually, pangit para sa atin magkimkim ng sama ng loob. I remember always no, sa confessional box sa pag nagpapakumpisal, no, sinasabi ng penitent, Father, forgive me dahil nagtanim po ako ng sama ng loob. Nagtanim po ako ng galit sa aking kapwa. No? Unforgiveness. No? So nagtanim. No? I would jokingly say, nagtanim. No? Kailan po ang anihan dahil nagtanim kayo ng galit? No? Pagkikimkim ng galit, no? at pagpapatawad no? as the oriental philosopher would say no? it's not really so much about that other person deserves our forgiveness we forgive simply because we need it for our selves we forgive so that we can have a life that is peaceful because if we don't forgive ang unang-unang mapupoison nito ay walang iba kundi tayo. Walang iba kundi ang ating sarili kapag hindi tayo nagpatawad. Ang pagtatinim ng galit ay pwede na rin nating mahilan tulad sa paghawak natin sa isang nagbabagang uling. No? Mainit ito. No? Galit na galit tayo. Binaganyan natin. No? Ayaw natin itong bitawan. No? Ngayon, kung alam mo nang nakakasakit sa iyo yung uling, napapasok ka at ayaw mo itong bitawan no? dahil galit ka. No? Anong tawag sa iyo? Tanga. <laughs> Anong tawag sa iyo? No? Syunga-syunga. No? 
Jesus said in the last part of the gospel, for the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. Ito ay in parallel din sa oriental teaching, no? yung karma. No? Life is an echo. Whatever you send out will go back to you. And this is also what Jesus said in the gospel. Kaya ang hamon po sa atin ngayong lunes, no? ngayong nagpapatuloy tayo sa ating paglalakbay ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, we are invited to contemplate on forgiveness and being merciful. No? To forgive primarily because we deserve peace. We forgive primarily because it is for ourselves. And what is within us, kung tayo ay mapayapang tao, atin din itong ibabahagi sa iba. Life is an echo. Whatever you send out will return back to you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. In every prayer we say, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them, may the vaccines and medicines as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That our departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept in your goodness these prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof. roof. But only, but only say, the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Confirm the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, we pray and strengthen them by the power of your grace, that they may be constant in making supplications to you and sincere in love for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Oh,